So I have been trying to make a TikTok for the last hour, and every time I tried to make it, uh, something would interrupt it. It just wasn't going well. And I just like gave up at, at that point, because I was like, well, um, you know, I guess this isn't what God wants me to say. So then I just asked the Lord, I said, is there a better verse that you want me to get out there? And uh, then I just, you know, I literally found it. And, you know, it'd be like that sometimes. So, <clears throat> this is in Romans um, 8, 35. It says, Who shall ever separate us from the love of Christ? Will tribulation or distress or persecution or famine or nakedness or danger or sword? Just as it is written and forever remains within for your sake, we are put to death all day long. We are regarded as sheep for the slaughter. Think about this for a second. I know some of you were on here over the weekend talking about how you were not stirred in the spirit, that you felt like far away from the Lord. And uh, I wanted to come on, but I couldn't. Sorry about that glare. Uh, I wanted to come on here, but I couldn't because I was with my family. But I definitely wanted to discuss this today, and uh, the, the verse that I had, I thought was a really good verse, but again, like I said, the Lord uh, drew me to this one instead. So, to go on, it says, yet in all these things, we are more than conquerors and gain an overwhelming victory through him who loved us so much that he died for us. For I am convinced and continue to be convinced beyond any doubt that neither death, nor life, nor angels, nor principal principalities, nor things present and threatening, nor things to come, nor powers, nor height, nor depth, nor any other created thing will be able to separate us from the unlimited love of God, which is in Christ Jesus our Lord. And honestly, now that I read that, it really is the better verse for what I was trying to speak on today. Uh, you know, we do sometimes feel a way uh, about not, you know, being perfect enough or whatever. I mean, I especially suffer from this because I've diagnosed OCD. So I really, um, you know, sometimes I don't leave the house because I'm trying to make things right. So I really struggle with it, and uh, I do understand that we can't always be how we want in our minds to be, but also let me remind you that we are children of God, and that when those thoughts come in where we are just feeling like, or thinking, because the heart goes in the mind, goes the mind, and then the heart, so it's the thought, and then it goes to the feeling, um, that's the devil working, that's the devil attacking us. Those thoughts aren't ours. Those are not ours, y'all. That's the devil, and I need you to remember that. I need to remember it, too. These dark thoughts about how we're not doing right, we're not doing good enough, we're just not good enough, this, that, and the other, just every little thing he'll come and, um, he'll come and get. It, it just like, he'll put like a fog in your head, because you know he is the prince of air, Satan is. So he just like fogs up your head and uh you know what I'm you know with the feeling and it it's 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 not good because we are just uh then we then we're kind of crippled in what we can do. We just like feel like oh, I don't want to make a TikTok. I don't want to spread the word. I just can. I'm just like all of our like own self self-serving, self-absorbed, selfish type of feelings just get in front of our faith. And uh, like I said, that's the devil doing that. It's not you. You're a perfect child of God. Remember that. And the only thing that I can tell you to do, this is what works for me, is to get into the Word and start reading the Word. If you're out and you can't get a Bible or whatever, pray in your head. Just start talking to Jesus, y'all. I mean, that's really the best advice I could give. Um, be gentle with yourself. It's not, you're fine. It's, it's, uh, it's the enemy. And because we are in the end times, this is what's happening. Uh, he's attacking nonstop everybody. We're all being attacked. And uh, it's, it, it gets harder and harder. But like I said, you just need to talk to Jesus. And if, as you do, you'll notice that the thoughts dissipate. They start to dissipate. And um, you'll feel better in a matter of time. And uh, so I just like, I really wanted to come on here and I hope that helps somebody. Uh, you know, I, I 
struggle with it too. So I'm right there with you. And I just want to remind you that Jesus is right there. He died for our sins. He loves you. And uh, yeah, you're going to be fine. And I hope you have a blessed and great day. I'll see you soon. Bye.